In the last presentation, we have learned what is bitwise write shift operator and how it shifts the bits towards right. And as the consequence, we have seen that it divides the number by 2 to the power n. Now, in this presentation, we will understand bitwise left shift operator. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The topic of this presentation is bitwise left shift operator. We will understand this operator in details. So, let's get started and see what is bitwise left shift operator. Bitwise left shift operator shifts the bits of a binary number to the left. So, it shifts the bits towards left, not right. As in the name itself, we have this word left. So, it shifts the bits towards left. And the operator also indicates the same. As a consequence, it multiplies the number by 2 to the power n, where n represents the magnitude of shift. So, it multiplies, not divides, the number by 2 to the power n. We have learned in the last presentation that bitwise right shift operator divides the number by 2 to the power n, but bitwise left shift operator multiplies the number by 2 to the power n. Now, let's understand with the help of an example how bitwise left shift operator works. For this, we will consider this simple example where a is equal to 3. We want to shift the bits of this number. For this, we first need to represent this number in binary form. This is the binary equivalent of number 3, 0, 1, 1. Now, our job is to shift the bits of this binary number. For this, we will perform this operation. A left shift 1. As the magnitude of shift is 1, we must shift the bits only once. So, the result will be 0, 1, 1, 0. Why is that the case? All the bits will be shifted left and the vacant position will always be filled by zeros. This is equal to 6 in decimal. If magnitude of shift is 1, we must replace n by 1 and 2 to the power 1 is equal to 2. Hence, we need to multiply the number by 2. So, number is 3. In our case, we need to multiply it by 2. We will get 6 as the result and that is what we are getting here. Now, let's perform this operation. A left shift 2. This time, we want to shift the bits of this binary number towards left twice or we can shift these bits once. So, now let's shift these bits towards left once. We will get this as the result 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And this is equal to 12 in decimal. This time the magnitude of shift is 2 and will be replaced by 2. 2 to the power 2 is 4. We now need to multiply 3 by 4. We will get 12 as the result. So, with this I hope the example is clear. Now, let's open our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. Let's verify whether the results that we are getting are correct or not. For this, let's type a equal to 3 and let's hit enter. Now, we will type a left shift 1. Let's hit enter. We must get 6 as the result. We are getting 6. Now, let's perform a left shift 2. We must get 12 this time. Let's hit enter we are getting 12. Now, let's consider one more example to concrete the concept of bitwise left shift operator. This time, we will take a negative number. So, let's take a equal to minus 3. Minus 3 in binary is 101. This bit represents the sign bit. The place value of this bit is minus 2 to the power 2, which is equal to minus 4. And the place value of this bit is 1. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So, this binary number correctly represents this decimal value minus 3. Now, let's shift these bits towards left once. For this, we must perform this operation A left shift 1. This is equal to 1010. Remember that this place will always be filled by 0. So, we must put 0 here every time. After shifting these bits, we'll get 1010. 0, 0. The place value of this bit is minus 2 to the power 3, which is minus 8. 
and the place value of this bit is 2 minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6 so the decimal equivalent of this binary number is minus 6 we must replace n by 1 this time we'll get 2 we now need to multiply the original number by 2 minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 and this is what we are getting here let's perform a left shift 2 this time we will get 10100 0, 0. all these bits will be shifted left we'll get this as the result and this is equal to minus 12 you can verify this on your own and of course this time we need to multiply minus 3 by 4 because n is 2 this time now let's open our command prompt and verify the results that we are getting here this time a is minus 3 let's hit enter now we will type a left shift 1 after hitting enter we will get minus 6 let's type a left shift 2 after hitting enter we will get minus 12 the results are verified so with this we are done with this lecture we have understood what is bitwise left shift operator the most important thing we need to remember is that bitwise left shift operator multiplies the number by 2 to the power n while bitwise right shift operator divides the number by 2 to the power n okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one